I will prove to you live right now how fast and easy it is to color grade a talking head video. I will do it live without any fast forward or cuts and after I will explain to you why I did what I did. Let's start the clock and color grade a talking head video right now. Start. I have my video here, go to color page and the first node I will name it EXP from exposure. Next I will activate the waveform, click on these three dots and waveform scale style, click percentage. This is because I don't have a 10 bit or 12 bit footage. Click again on the three dots and activate display qualifier focus. Now I will just check the skin to see if it's exposed correctly around 70. And I will adjust it a little bit using curves. I will just decrease the blacks a little bit and the highlights. And I want to check to see what's burned out there. It's this screw and the bulb, which for me, it's fine. It's okay. Next, I create another node and I will name it WB from white balance. It's just my language. And I will correct here the skin tone and the white balance. Yes, in the same node. And now I will change to vector scope. Click on the settings button and activate skin line tone indicator. It's this line here on the vector scope. Next, I select the qualifier and check if the skin tone is aligned with that line. And it's more to the red side if you watch closely. Just go to the curves again, select hue versus hue and create two anchor points around the red side. And decrease the reds just a little bit. Everything is super gentle. And right now, the skin tone is great. This is before and after. Before and after. Next, I want to check if the black is really black and I don't have yellowish tones or red tones and it's okay, it's pure black. Now, I will create another node and I will name it Focus. With this one, I just want to concentrate the light on me, the main character. Create a circle window, invert it, make it a little bit bigger and adjust the fade on the margins. I will position it right, go to the HDR color wheels and decrease the exposure from the global and it will create this vignette effect on the image and the light will be concentrated on me, the main character. I will switch to waveform again and I will check if the exposure on the skin is right and I just want to increase it a little bit more. Now it's perfect, around 70. And let's see the before and after. Before and after. Good. Let's create another node and name it background because I want to adjust that blue color on the background. I will use the qualifier just to check a little bit the exposure to see what's happening there. This is just a check. Go again to curves, hue versus hue. Create two anchor points around that blue color. And I will adjust it just a little bit to be as I like it. This is perfect. And now I can see on the waveform that the image is correct. Everything looks fine. Come on guys, two minutes and 59 seconds. Let's call it three minutes. Three minutes to achieve this result from this to this. But my raw footage was already good. I already had a good looking footage. You can upload it directly on YouTube. I can just leave it like this. But I just wanted to invest three minutes and create something better because I used the right settings because this is 8-bit footage and because I didn't use any picture profile. The picture profile is off. I don't need to do too much to the footage. Everything is simple and easy. This is why I insist all the time about the settings. And I have three, maybe four tutorials on the channel about the right settings. I will put the links in the description down below, of course. On the first node where I adjust the exposure, I used waveform and I activated for waveform scale style the percentage view. I do this because it's 8-bit footage and it's easier to understand. What's above 100, it's burned out. What's below zero, it's pure black. So you want to stay away from 100, a little bit below 100 and above zero. And next, I activated the display qualifier focus. This will help you to understand easier what's happening on the image. When you go to the qualifier on the image somewhere, as an example, on the skin, on your face, you will see that circle on the waveform to see exactly what's happening, what's that part of the image on waveform. 
On the next node, on the white balance node, I adjust also the skin tone. Basically, you need to work on separate nodes, but I, I don't do it because it's easier, it's faster, and because the image is already almost correct, I don't need to change it too much, just small, small tweaks, and I can do it in the same node. Yes, you can select just the skin and work just on the skin, but on an, on an 8-bit footage, I don't like it too much because when you will select just the skin, the selection won't be perfect and you will have some spots on your skin, on your face, and if you want to reduce the reds, uh, you will have some red spots on your skin. So for 8-bit footage, I prefer to adjust it on the entire image, not just select the skin. But if you want to do that, you can do it. On the vector scope to check the skin tones, I activated the skin tone indicator. It's that line on the vector scope. When you have your colors aligned with that line, that means the skin tone is correct. So we, we will try to adjust everything to be aligned with that line. But don't go crazy with this. If it's a little bit on the right side or just a little bit on the left side, that's okay. Don't, don't go crazy with it. This is not an exact science. Also, I checked the blacks. I wanted to have pure black and I was with the qualifier on my t-shirt, which is black, and I saw that the circle is in the middle of the vector scope. That means it's black, it's zero. There will be the white also, the black and the white, it's zero in the middle. It's no colors, no on the red side, blue side, yellow side, it's in the middle. And to adjust something, I like to use curves, hue versus hue, and work just on a specific color. Now, the next node is about that focus, that vignette. If you don't like it, you don't need to do it. I do it because on a talking head video, I'm the main character. I need to be the main focus. So I want to concentrate the light around me so the entire focus will be around me. I like it. I, I just like this kind of focus on the main character. And I just used an inverted circle window to create that vignette effect, that fade. Now for the background, it was easier in this video because I had blue light in the background and I don't have blue tones on my skin. So where when I adjust the blue tones, I will adjust just the background. If I will have an orange light in the background, it will be much harder to change the tone because I will also change some tones on my skin and I don't want that. And again, I will do this using curves, hue versus hue. It's so easy and fast. Remember this, it's super important. Color grading, it's not an exact science. If you see things a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, nah, it's not like, oh, I, I just need to move it one millimeter. No, it, it's okay if you like it like that. You can watch a lot of movies and you can see a lot of them like super saturated and others like faded colors and the contrast on some movies, it's super high and some movies are a little bit washed out or some movies are... I don't know, are a little bit to the green side and other more to the dreamy side. It's a matter of taste and how you want your brand to be. On a talking head video, you don't need to do too much. Just make everything to help the viewer. Focus everything on the main subject. Focus everything to look good and to be more pleasing to watch, easier to follow. This is the main purpose of this thing. We have a great video, but we can improve it a little bit and make it more enjoyable for our viewer and this will help us to deliver our message better and easy. But you can learn and color grade your videos on a super high level, advanced level and still have low quality talking head videos if you don't take care of the next step. This step that's super important, more important than this. I have a dedicated video here where I show you exactly what to do to achieve great looking talking head videos. Just click follow this video step by step and I promise you, you will have good looking talking head videos.